Hey you guys, this is a snowy data here again and uh, I can tell you by now nothing has really gone wrong, you know? Um, after you have installed the uh, hard drive or in this case the SSD to the uh, Synology SSD um, the only thing you have to do is go to the website go to Google and search for the Synology Assistant after you clicked on that you search for the Synology Web Assistant and that will guide you through basically the entire process of installing this device so um, actually there is not really much more I can say about this uh, because most of it, most of it is uh, self-explanatory probably do not say that right but okay uh, most of it's it's um, well obvious <laughs> and um, well for all the separate functions of the uh, Synology disk station you can uh, consult your uh, manual of course or look online uh, for what I can say is that the SSD works it has no trouble in uh, using the SSD. Uh, 120 gigabytes. Well, it, it's it is seen as somewhat over 100 gigabytes, but that's also obvious because, well, more uh, more um, more bits than bytes, or more bytes than bits. You know, we all know that story. And uh, well, that makes this video kind of short. Um, yeah, what to tell more? I mean. Um, I still had to figure out um, how to uh, get some some things working again uh, in the Synology NAS, like uh, the uh, online services and the FTP uh, services and the usernames and the passwords for their home directories. But you know what? That is stuff I won't even bother you with. It's just the plain the plain old idea that that the SSD, yeah, we put an SSD into a Synology NAS. Uh, actually not so interesting at all um, hmm maybe next time I try to put an S SSD in my washing machine maybe that helps oh no there's already an SSD in there a ROM file huh SSD in a printer maybe hmm no SSD in my amplifier I don't know SSD in my mother so she can run on auto <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, no, uh, this speaks for itself, uh, and um, well, I hope you enjoyed the first video, and this is just a short follow-up, uh, just to let you know that everything went well, and um, if you click on the link below, in this description, below, you know, below, 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 look down below now, below there, and scroll there somewhere, there's a link. It's called uh, mindzoi.tk. Uh, it's basically Dutch for Minecraft.tk, and it's it's you know it's plain simple um, web 1.0 because I am totally not a uh, web designer at all. Maybe in the future I will learn it uh, to learn how to. Uh, implement Joomla or any other you know prepackaged site on this thing but for what I am doing with it it suffices and that's um, putting files there if I am on the road I can get them if I want to store something on the NAS I can I can do it from a distance and that's fine by me and all in all it does not require a lot of power I have calculated even if I buy the cheapest online service there is, then I still pay less on uh, on electricity at home if the thing is 24 hours a day on, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, and 1000 years uh, and millennium, and well, a lot of years and a billion years. But anyway, it costs less electricity than... Um, than it would be if you uh, rent a, a online solution and by the way this also gives you more freedom to do whatever you want and um, so I would say uh, do it uh, do it yourself too this uh, this Synology this station is a very uh, energy efficient one 
put it in small SSD in it and you're fine for, for most uh, web uh, site purposes. I mean, 120 gigabytes, how much more do you need? Uh, and you can always extend it uh, by uh, putting another one in it uh, for, you know, for all your data files if really needed. So, thank you for watching and um, if you have any suggestions about uh, maybe, you know, like in like uh, in Duraka, for example, I have a lot of old PCs here. Uh, maybe you could, I I, <laughs> I don't have any um, knowledge about uh, foreign uh, OSs instead of uh, Windows. Maybe we could some put some Ubuntu's of Ubuntu's or or uh, any other uh, these machines. Uh, maybe on SSDs. I don't know. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, then press directly on the thumbs down button uh, if you want to see more of this ridiculous nonsense <laughs> then subscribe and uh, hit that bell notification whatever click whatever you like and um, I see you until the next video uh, see you guys bye bye